my internet is like entirely reliable and then it just cuts off there's no slowdown or anything it just stops it drives me nuts i don't know what causes it because i can do everything else anywho i'm back i'm back it's if you're with me for any length of time that may happen but i'm looking into ways to make it not happen anywho i decided to return to my room anyway okay Gucci. That's a liar guy, ain't it? Kitty, Akamatsu's room. I don't know why, but once I went inside my room, I just started crying uncontrollably. Uh huh? Why? At that moment, the intercom in my room rang. Give me a sec. Okay, yeah, that is... I don't like him. Um... You can just straight up tell he's doing things to mess with people. I dislike that. Uh, one of the other things I was going to say before I got cut off there. Um, one of the things that bugs me about a lot of anime and like stories and whatnot is, is, is when someone like him, like they say things, and when you, um, um, when you, people say things to like rile you up and like, well, it's all your fault that you didn't do it. And aren't you supposed to be helpful? Aren't you supposed to be a wonderful person who does things like this? It's Why aren't you doing things like this? Um, by simply acknowledging their statement, you're giving them power over you. The best way to deal with him? Just flat out ignore him. If he says, it's all your fault, whatever, and go about your day, the only thing he can do is talk to you. So if you don't acknowledge his taunts, he can't affect you. Literally. So when everyone starts ganging up on, like, yeah, yeah, he's right. You need to help people. But I didn't do it. And they all, like, just ignore him. And the problem goes away. <laughs> it's still loud and chittering at the back of your head, but it be doesn't become a problem anymore. But we'll find out. Maybe he has a heart of gold and a, or maybe a hidden motive that nobody knows about. Or something like that. I don't know. The intercom, it's someone at the door? I quickly wipe my tears and open the door. Are you okay? Katie, are you alright? Yeah. Um, Sweetie, um, what do you mean? I'm not sad, if that's what you're wondering. I'm... Katie, it's not your fault. Huh? Huh? I knew it. The underground passage was a trap. It was a trap to get us to think we could work together and crush our hopes. You might be right, but... I know that, but I just wanted to escape with everyone. You know? But it's all right now. Everything is over, right? Um... Katie, I know how you feel. I believe in you. Huh? What? Believe in me? Is that all right? There's something I have to tell you. Will you come to the library with me? The library? What's gotten into Shuichi all of a sudden? I meant to talk to him, but whatever. No, oh, maid lady's out. What's the matter? Kill me. What are you doing here? I will grant your wishes. I'm waiting until someone in need of my service approaches me. Huh? Huh? So you're just waiting? Hey! Kill me. You aren't our maid. You don't have to do that. That is my intention. As I have said, my only desire is to fulfill the desire of others. Until we escape, I intend to serve everyone. If either of you have a request to make of me, please do not hesitate to ask. Um. Okay, I'm fine for now. I'm. Uh, I think I'm okay too. I see. I see. The ultimate maid is so impressive. She's so thorough. All right. So, what do you want to talk about? Is that alright? 
I want to talk to the library. Could you come with me, please? Alright. Let's go. Do we have a front and a back to the dormitory? Probably not. Hey, go to. What's the matter, Gonta? Searching for something? Bugs are. There's no bugs here after all. I see. Oh yeah, you did mention that before. Gonta. And Gonta's trying to understand why. You're right. Oh, that's right. Of course, the ultimate entomologist would notice that. But Gonta has no idea. But it's okay. Gonta's not going to give up. You gentlemen don't give up that easy. Allow Gonta. So Gonta, I'm going to go search for some more. It's hard to read it, translate it, and change it all at the same time. Alright. Um. Go to the library, huh? How far are those yellow dots people? Yeah, those yellow dots are people. Oh, there's dots in the map over here. Hey, look at you two. Out for a walk together, huh? Why don't you pick up some rubbers over at the warehouse? Better safe than sorry. Huh? What? We don't need those. <laughs> What? You must be real fucking skank to let dudes unload inside you. By day, you're fingering the piano keys, but at night, the dudes are fingering you, eh? Oh, jeez. Shut the hell up. What kind of girl do you think I am? Please mm. forgive me. joke. I was just trying to lighten the mood a little. Uh, um. Let's ignore her, Katie. You have to focus. Right. You need to head to the library. Yeah, Alright. See you later. She's got some issues. expected our foe to die in such a way. What a disappointing ending. In any event, it means that s it means the situation is over. I can go home and spend time with sister. I see. Oh, you have a sister, Kyo? I bet she's worried about you. But that's probably true of everyone's family, including mine. Sister. Sister is terribly lonely. I need to get back to her as soon as possible. I need to get back to my parents and friends too. I'm a bit of a completionist. A bit. I try and get as much as I can, but I'm not going to go back and scour the entire thing for everybody. I like to try and talk with people. At least with relationships, anyway. See? Just like I said. Huh? What's just like you said? Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Yeah. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? What do you mean? It's nice to me you, you defeated Monokuma, right? I still don't know how to get out of here, but the number one threat is gone now. Uh, um, uh, Kaito, to be honest, what you did was really dangerous. Okay. Well, I was a little nervous. Just a little. <laughs> but now I know the universe is watching. That bear got the cosmic justice he deserved. The universe is always on the side of those who push the limits and never give up. I see. Um, I guess? Leave it to me! Anyway, Monica was gone now, thanks to me. All we gotta do is escape. Are you going back to that underground passageway? Huh? Huh? Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? You don't know? You don't think this is over, do you? Your attitude earlier gave it away. Because. And I figured you'd take on that passageway with her since you two seem so chummy. That's. Uh, I'm not trying to take anyone's sure. side. Whatever. You guys are free to do whatever you want. Just leave the rest of us out of it. I knew it. She's kind of unpleasant, isn't she? Alright. There you are. Hey! Hey, it's a shuttle bus coming or not? I've been waiting for a while now. Um. I don't think a bus is gonna come. This whole place is surrounded by a caged wall. Oh, yeah. Actually. Um, it's just that it's customary to come back from Kukan by bus. But. I travel by bus even in summer and winter. Bus drivers sing sea shanties for me. In the past, I was saddled with death, but now I'm the proud owner of my very own home. 
What is she talking about? Actually... Never mind, it's just plain unimportant. Well, anyway, since this walk's so big, wall's so big, I wonder how the bus would even get in here. Would a bus really be able to get here? Uh, don't doubt the tumor choice. Um, okay, we should go to the library. Alright. I'll go there. And there we go. Let's see where we go. Magic lady and crazy lady. Um, uh, Tenko, what are you doing? Sneak attack! I was hoping I could learn more about magic from Himiko. I definitely want to incorporate magic into Neo Aikido. Please tell me, Himiko, what sort of training do you usually do? I told you I get tired talking about I'll it. Protect you. And I'll massage your back so you won't get tired. Oh yeah! I wouldn't mind if you rested your head on my lap either. Gross. Stop it. That's weird. Alright. Oh, come on. Yeah, hey, you guys. Save me from this conversation. What's, What's the matter, Himiko? We We're not done talking yet, are we? Alright, so it was the library. It was downstairs. I think that's over here. Yeah. What's wrong? Hey there, you two. Something wrong? Um. No, nothing's wrong. Hey! Hey, I'm Taro. You said there's someone behind all this, right? That Monokuma's just a puppet? It's true. I did say that. But you know what? It's just a hunch. How should I put this? I sure won't complain if that's how it all turned out, though. Uh. And away he goes. check and see if there's anybody else out there to talk to. I was gonna say, man, the place got cleaned up. No, no not great. Really. Like before, the empty library was filled with the scent of old, musty books. Uh, um... Okay, before I say anything else, I want you to promise me you'll keep this secret. Yeah. Okay, got it. Shushi -shu looked relieved and smiled. Like a great detective, he began to explain in, ex in exacting detail. Remember, This library has books scattered everywhere, even books lying on top of the bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on top. Huh? Oh, that one? Huh, you're right. Also, you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. You're right. What is this? I'm... I noticed the markings the first time I came here with you. This morning, I came back to investigate. That's when I found this. He then walked over to the bookcase, placed his hand to the gap. Rumble, 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 rumble. It's Kinzo's study. And moved the bookcase. Whoa! It oh, moved? It moved? It swings open. Look, there's a door behind it. The voices are just so randomly sporadic. A door? Um, okay. So this is what you wanted to show me. That's why I wanted you to come here with me. There's something unique about this door. Take a closer look. Black and white. The pattern on the hidden door is black and white. Just like Monokuma. Hey! Hey! Do you think the store is connected to Monokuma somehow? That's... I think it might, but I don't know anything for sure. This store has a card reader lock, so I can't open it. Huh? You can't? Is that alright? The very fact this store is here makes me consider a certain possibility. There's a chance that one of us here is cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Cooperating? Monokuma? Oh, oh, wait a minute, what do you mean by that? Hey! It's only a hypothesis right now, but consider this. 
Why would there be a hidden door here? If it were solely for Monokuma's use, he would need to hide it. He could just have the Monokubs or the Exosols protect it and keep it in plain sight. Hmm. However, I can think of one reason that the door would be hidden. For one of us to sneak in and use it without anyone else noticing. Um. Maybe, but I can't believe someone in our group would be working with Monokuma. That's true. I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicions, I decided to set a little trap on this card reader. I sprinkled some dust inside the card reader so that I could tell if it was used. Of course, I was careful to make sure the dust wouldn't come loose accidentally. And I don't think the person swiping their card would notice or care about a little dust. Um. So, if we see dust on the floor, it means one of us used this door, right? Well. Well, as I mentioned before, this is just a hypothesis. I have no evidence yet. But... But, if it's true, then even if Monokuma is gone, this isn't going to end, Katie. Uh, um... Anyway, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. I'm... I just wanted to tell you, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Then... Well, let's head back. We shouldn't stay here too long. After putting the moving bookcase back into place, we cautiously left the library. Hmm. Is that all right? Katie, please don't tell anyone what I showed you. I don't want to cause a panic. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Having made our promise, we returned to our own rooms. Cubs aren't here to bury Monokuma? Well, anyway, what Shuji told me earlier is really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma. It's just so hard to believe. But Shuji trusts me. That's why he told me. Right? Then maybe I should believe it. Oh boy. More chainsaws. Wow, we're already out of material. Like closing time at a sushi restaurant. But a series lasts for several seasons, so eventually it'll run out of material. My memory has been awful lately. I wonder if it's because of how long the series has been going. Wait, what season are we on again? What material have we shown so far? Jeez, I don't remember. Maybe it's because they've released so many at this point. Oh well, anyway, we need new material for the Monokuma Theater. Please send your manuscripts along with a $1,000 application fee. If your entry is selected, you will receive a $100 gift card. What a generous prize. Don't miss the opportunity. Send your applications today. Okay, Monokuma. Sure. Thank you for that invigorating report, Monodum. It's already morning. I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday's conversation is still on my mind. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Are they already gathered at the dining hall? Yeah. I guess I'll go for now. Alright, chores. I think I'll meet up at the dining hall and close it in for the day. Good morning, Ryoma. Oh. Oh. We're way past morning by this point. Huh? Huh? Really? Didn't the morning announcement just play though? It's an old story. In prison, mornings were a lot earlier. We started at dawn. Huh? That early? In other words. In the day we do our work and eat at the same time. At night all we could do was sleep. Inside those prison walls. 
I lived a frighteningly disciplined life. I see. Um, I suppose that sort of life sounds healthy, I guess? <laughs> huh. Healthy body, healthy mind. Not cool. That's the bitter irony. That's right, Ryoma was a famous tennis player before he became a prisoner. Did I make him feel bad? I do. And people, 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 nobody there. Okay. And people, people. And it's you. I hate you. All right. Good morning, Katie. Um, morning. Maybe. Man, I slept great last night. You know, this place is alright when there's nothing to worry about. Ken, that's me. Um, I believe he's the voice of the guy from Digimon. That's where I remember him from, I think. Oh, so how far have you gone with Shuichi? That's wrong! Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what were you imagining just now? I just wanted to know how far you've gone exploring this place together. That's all. Because... It's none of your business, Kukichi. Uh... Oh, what's with the attitude? You're so mean. I thought you said we were friends, Katie. <laughs> but you were lying this whole time! Stop it. Yeah, well, you're lying too. Did I get caught? Oh, wow, Katie. You know how to stand your ground, don't you? But you're right. I was lying. After all, we're just strangers to one another. That's why I don't really care what you and Shuichi do. Besides, even friends don't share everything with each other. Huh? Huh? Because? I'm more nervous around friends who share too much than strangers, really. Probably because we can keep... Remember what you said. Alright. Two more people. Kibo. Um... Good morning, Katie. Uh, Good morning, Kibo. As I thought. Everyone appears to have gathered at the dining hall again. I see. Yep, looks like it. For now. I'm thinking about heading over there as well, but... What? I... Oh, nothing. I was just wondering. When someone is going to come rescue us. It's been almost a full day since Monokuma was dispatched, but our situation hasn't changed. <laughs> I'm just speculating, but what if... Only Monokuma knew about this place. What if this location is not on any map? What if no one is coming to rescue us? Huh? Huh? Which means... Maybe we'll just be forgotten, and no one will ever find us again. Jeez. Don't say that. Besides, we should be trying to escape, not waiting for someone to rescue us. That's right. Yes, I apologize. I was overthinking things. As I thought. It would be impossible to discreetly construct a facility such as this in the first place. Plus, if the professor knew I was missing, he would not rest until he found me. With his technology, he would rescue us, no matter where on earth this place is. Yeah. Yeah. And... You. Atua. Praise Atua. Yaha! Good morning, Katie. Um... Morning. Cause Atua says so. Cause Atua says so. Hmm, I see, I see. Are you finally ready to make an offer? Huh? Right now? Sorry. Sorry, I still have anemia. Huh? Huh? That's a bummer. Major bummer. This is a problem, though. I need an offering from someone to thank Atua for sm smiting Monokuma. Make sure you eat a big breakfast, okay? Hope your anemia clears up soon. Is she serious about offering my blood? Alright. Because the two is such so. Let's go. People, peoples. Maybe I'll just end up at the dining hall today. Morning, Tenko. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Good morning. Jeez. What was that all about? Um. Well, I haven't done much training since I got here, so I did some light exercise in the gym. But I'm still full of energy, so I'm shouting to burn it off. Uh. I see. By the way. Anyway, exercise makes me hungry. I'm gonna head to the dining hall. See ya. Okay. Let's make our way there. And cosplay lady. Huh? What's wrong? Seems like 
Look at this. My nails are all messed up. That probably happened when he came here. Now I can't take good care of them. Uh, Your nails? Uh, I understand. You're surprised that plain old me cares about my nails, right? No. Well, not really. But when you say nails, you mean nail art, right? I've never done it before. I see. Oh, I see. Nails would just plain get in the way of one playing piano, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I see. As a pianist, you're pretty strict about stuff like this, I guess. Um. You're exaggerating, but yeah, sometimes I gotta hold back on some stuff. Oh. Well, I guess the middle of a killing game isn't the time to be worrying about nails. Hmm. I want to hurry and go home. Uh, she might be, uh, troublesome. Dang hole. Let's see what's in here. Despite all my worrying, everyone in the dining hall is in a good mood. Right? Man, for a moment I had no idea what was going to happen. I'm glad it turned out like this. That's right. Yeah, seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, I slept well last night. Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. That's amazing! You did all that with magic? You're so amazing, Himiko! Thanks, B to Atua. Praise be to Atua. Surely he helped you in his own mysterious, miraculous way. I see. This Atua seems to act in secret a lot. Because Atua is watching Because over Atua us. smells of danger. But when's someone coming to get us? 100%. Whoever does, I assume they will come today. There's no need to worry. By the long face. Oh, no. It's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? That is. What do you mean? Never mind. Really, it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. Mm. But is this really how it ends? Without thinking, I had blurted that out loud, and now everyone was staring at me. Um. I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. Oh. I wonder. Do you wish the killing game would have continued? That's not true. <sighs> Internet spike. No. Not at all. Fucking bitch! Then don't ruin our happy moment, you fucking skank. Hmm. Hey, Katie. I don't know what you're so worried about. But Monokuma is dead now. There's no way the killing game can continue, you know? And that's my cue to appear, Kuma. Huh? What? <laughs> Monokuma. He's so alive? It's my turn, no, no. You guys are blind or something, Kuma. I ain't Monokuma, Kuma. After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as Yokai. Call me Jabi Kuma Kuma. What is it? Jabi Kuma? Headmaster. From now on, I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. Huh? Did I slip up? On your knees! No, duh, you fucking fraud! Go find another car to run you over! And this time, stay dead! That's terrible! Oh, jeez, it's such a low-level cosplay. I can't bear to look. <laughs> From an anthropological point I have an important view. question. Haven't you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mythological creatures first created back when humanity lived closely with nature. Back then, they were the embodiment of an unexplainable natural phenomenon. Wow, wow, wow. And you guys are buzzkills. I was all set for adventure before you started yelling at me. This is why I hate teenagers. I'd have cash for days if I was dealing with the under 10 crowd. Rise and shine, Rise and shine, Rise and shine. <laughs> Jeez, it's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Oh. Wait, what? Our father, who we thought was dead, is actually alive? No way, Babakuba's too hip and modern to resort to death, this cheap trope. The yokai did it. I bet the yokai did it. That was yeah. actually a voice line. She'll say that again, won't she? No, that's a bit o that bit's over saying? already. It ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. <laughs> you should have told us you were still alive. We've been making stew with your body. <laughs> Wait, if Papakuma's standing here, then whose body is in the stew pot? Uh, which Papakuma is the real one? What are you saying? No, they're both real. Hmm? 
Huh? But father, he said there's only one of each of us that were unique, like snowflakes. Oh, well, yeah, there's only one of each of you guys. I've got loads of spares. <laughs> Why do you get to have spares and we don't? Of course you don't get to have any spares. Do you really think anyone in this day and age would tolerate the death is cheap trope? Huh? What does that mean? Got it. But now we know. This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you want. You guys just get so excited until I can't take it anymore. You guys are so cute. Gosh, I just want to see what your parents look like. Wait, I'm your parents. I, sorry, I can't react to this. I've been too much shocked. Does this mean the killing game is going to continue? Continue? The killing game is going to continue? What a pain. What a pain. That's not my problem, donkey face. What do you mean? The killing game is gonna continue? <laughs> I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. You gotta be kidding me. No, it's definitely not okay. Is that right? Well, that's how it's gonna be. If we want to end this, I see. we have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. I do not know. Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was not surprising. And is that so? Then did you also assume this next exciting development? I'm pleased to announce an additional motive! An additional motive? A time limit is now in effect! The murder does not occur by night time! Two days from now! Then every student participating in this killing game will die! To shreds by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma making machine. So, unless you want to end up as pink smears, you might want to take this game seriously. It's <laughs> huh? a time limit. What? What? Everyone will die? What is this? What? That's not fair. Jeez, why'd you guys even come to the school if you're not going to do the killing game? Shut up! You're the one that forced us to come here. Um... A quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless Monokumas? I thought we were up once time ran out. Let's do this! Damn right. Let the Exiles do the thing this time. No, no. But I'd rather not go through that again. I'd feel bad if you guys tired yourselves yeah, out. Yeah, but... But if we let the Exiles get popular, we could have real cash counter hands, you know? The merchandising rights alone would make us richer than sultans. Ah, to hmm. be young sultans, again. huh? Very tempting, but... That's bad. I won't let you kids ruin your futures. You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures. Daddy! Daddy, you love us so much. Oh, jeez. That's enough. Oh? Oh? You're still here. Of course, we never left. Why? Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? I see. Well, if you're suffering, you all better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> then you can say bye-bye to the suffering. You, you bastard! To tell you the truth. Don't you realize that working together is pointless? So just knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, don't you? You're surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. Well. Plus, you got the first blood perk. That means the first kill is free. But the killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! If they don't play the, then they're good. Then they're dead anyway, and that's way more gory. I see. If it's gratuitous over the top core, I might be able to stomach that. Forget the killing game then. It'd be better if you all just die together. Shut up! Shut up and get the fuck back! <laughs> well, what did you? What you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. 
You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own. It's your call. <laughs> So have I. There we go. Not, not quite. Hey, father is in the zone. I was getting irritated till he said all that. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, Madonna, get some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of killing. I like Madonna. He's a good character. After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. Um, what are we gonna do? Nighttime in two days. That will be hit. innocent. There's got to be something we can do. I can't die. The world needs my genius. I don't like that. I don't wanna. I don't wanna die yet. Die? Everyone's gonna die? Is dying the only choice? Atua says so. You don't need to worry. Atua will welcome you with open arms. Mm. That's after we die, right? We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about well, it. Then. Did you have a course of action in mind? Shut up! I'm going to start thinking of one right now. I don't understand. Figures. I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. No can forgive. we got to fight back then. Um... Yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance at winning. No. What kind of Aikido moves even involve sneak attacks? Don't I want to help everyone? Come on, everyone. Gotta use, go to use body. Keep everyone safe. Not cool. You're gonna go against those machines barehanded. Isn't that too reckless? But we have to do it. If we don't, we'll die. But... Wait, we still have plenty of time to calculate all possible options. How terrifying. We have no time to be indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision: to die fighting or die from the time limit. Stop it! Why do both choices involve us dying? How? No way. Are we really gonna die? I don't wanna die yet. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna make it no matter what. Uh, no matter what? That's wrong! Wait, you can't do that though. If you make a mistake, you can't oh. Then you'll accept the blame? Huh? Huh? Because Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who'll be sad if I die, you know. Um Um well, she's acknowledging it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. But I don't know if the same could be said for everyone else. So that means... Anyway, I'm going to take off now. Oh. Take off? Where are you going, Kikichi? Um... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and just think things over. Alone. The fuck's going on? Alone in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill you? Oh. Me? I... I... Not that I try to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. <laughs> Talking to you, it's exhausting. I'm gonna go in my room and rest. Got it? Mew, you better not do anything shitty, okay? I'm worried. There's no need to worry, is there? No one's gonna kill anyone, right? Hmm. If someone's gonna kill, they should just go for the robot. No way! That's even worse! Hmm. hmm. So everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Huh? What? How mysterious. Of course I know it to be against the law, but laws are simply rules people decided upon. This is a space removed from those rules. Therefore, we've no need to follow them. That's enough! Don't say stupid shit like that. Even kids know killing is bad. It's common sense. However... Even if it is to survive? We are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? What? <laughs> I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sins. So you've no need to fear me. Uh. Kill. Mm -hmm. Bale's soft sciences are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. He's not wrong, though. If you want to stay alive, standing around grumbling's not going to change anything. Well, as things are, we're not all going to escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? Stop it. Hold on, everyone. We haven't decided on our plan yet. Right already. You can decide on your own. Huh? Huh? You don't know? Your half-assed speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then So just come up with a plan for yourself. 
Wait, Maki, wait. Well, then. I'm just gonna pray to Atua. Seems like. Yeah, can I just go and think for myself a little? It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. Huh, that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? Mm -hmm. But wait, you guys. That's wrong. You guys, you can't listen to Monokuma. <laughs> Everyone, what's wrong? Why is everyone scattering? <laughs> Fine then. I'll just do whatever you want. This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of this plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... That's a shame. Can I even trust myself? Huh? Then, Taro, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. What's wrong, he says. How should I put this? Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Ultimate hunt? Um. What is that? I've never heard of it. What's the matter? What about it? Never mind. Nothing. Forget it. Huh? Huh? Excuse me. What do you mean, Rontaro? Oh, no. It's nothing, really. I'm just a bit confused, is all. Mm, actually. Everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talent. I'm sorry. So I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say things that don't make sense sometimes. Uh. Rontaro? Without looking back... Without looking back, Frontaro just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Why won't anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone. So why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. The one who's controlling him and planned this entire killing game. It's all their fault. Well, yeah. Alright, and so I can move. That'll be it for today. Save, and we'll continue this tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. See you guys later. And now we're about to get into the actual gameplay of the actual meat of the story, I guess. Well, and there goes the controller. See you guys later. Oh, I can use the mouse. Interesting. Anyway, take care. I got some cleaning up to do. See you later, guys.